to uh, Drafting Tutorials. My name is Casey. Today's video I wanted to cover um, the presentation. Uh, so from an assembly drawing, all right, you're going to need an assembly drawing created already. So something like what you're seeing here, uh, where you can put the parts together through an assembly. But once you've got that done, you can create a presentation. And this is good for uh, presenting to a company your ideas um, for a, a you know a, an assembled part or multiple parts that are assembled and put into production. So in order to get there, you want to go to File, click on New, um, and then go down to Presentation. And it's important that when you do this, you want to select the uh, assembly drawing. Okay, so I've got my assembly here. You'll hit Open, <clears throat> and it'll open it up in a presentation. Now what you can do from here is you can um, you can explode this whole thing if you want so you just go up to tweak components alright select your part and you can start pulling parts you know apart so that people can see where they're they're going so right there I just selected on it after I hit tweak components select it on it and you can pull your arrow up uh, I can move to the side if I want you, know, you can move it all around in different directions so that it shows you kind of where the parts going now the uh, important part to this is once you've got your parts pulled apart and your your view is exploded your assembly the next step give me one second here I'm just trying to pull some of these parts apart here. The next step though is that you want to do a uh, a snapshot. Okay? So hit new snapshot view and it'll give you like view one. Now if I want I'm gonna go ahead just for this example I'm gonna show you what you can continue doing because as you save your file as you uh, progress through here and you explode parts this is something I learned in class the other day is that uh, as you move forward and let's hit save right so we'll save this we'll call it test you're gonna hit save but if you notice right now the view is it is seen right in here you know where you follow my cursor this whole picture has got one two three four five exploded parts whereas view one only has three now this is important because if you want to bring this in on another drawing or a title block and you want it to show all these pieces right here exploded first off what we'll do is we'll do a, a new snapshot so we got view two right we save the file now what you're going to do is you're going to want to open up your title block. So if we had a title block, we'll just open one up here. You'd open your title block, and then from there, go to Base. And you can see, right now, it is referencing View 1 from our presentation. Well, we don't want View 1 because view one only shows three parts right we want view two which shows all our updated parts being exploded so we'll go back to the drawing here when you hit base all right you're gonna find your find your uh, exploded assembly file okay you're gonna hit open and we want view two so from the drop down here, you're going to select view two, hit OK. And from here, it shows you an exploded view of your assembly. All right. So just remember, you want to change the view and take snapshots during your exploded, you know, when you're exploding your part. As you progress, just go up here and hit new snapshot view and it'll create a new view 
And then when you pull it into your title block, just make sure that you're changing the view right up in here to the most current view. And that'll show you, that'll give you your exploded assembly that is up to date. That's all I have for this video. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit the like button. You can share it with others. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. And I will talk to you guys later.